Something always bothered me. Why did Yang save you? What did he give you? A talisman right after giving the order to murder you in cold blood. Oh, you didn't know, did you? That you never had the talisman to begin with. And your very reaction to being alive proved that prior to that moment, you might not have any knowledge whatsoever about the existence of such powerful artifacts. The only people aware of their existence were the former Sifu, Shun's father, two other Kung Fu masters, Jing Fang, and lastly, Yang. Eight years before we embark on our revenge quest, Yang and his associates invaded the other Kung Fu schools in order to kill their masters. To understand why Yang gave us the very talisman which brought us back to life and ultimately jump-started our quest for revenge, it is only fair to dive into the mind of Yang and understand his motives. Yang was trained and raised by father. It is safe to assume Sifu saw in Yang the perfect successor. After all, we all witnessed first class the extent of his prowess. Yang was indeed very talented, to the point Sifu entrusted him with the most sensitive yet important secret, a secret only known to a handful of people, the existence of talismans which could grant powers beyond human understanding. The guardians were entrusted the mission to protect the talismans at all cost. Those relics were deemed too powerful and their existence kept secret. In everything, we need balance. Thus, the alchemist, a group of skilled fighters whose goal was to reclaim the talismans, were lurking in the shadows. The alchemist believed that the talisman were too powerful, too useful, and their power should be used to help the weak, to heal the sick. The alchemists were a group which sole purpose was to give back to the people, and it is most likely they never were able to gain the upper hand. That is, Auntie Yang joined their ranks. There are two questions we should be asking ourselves right now. Firstly, why did Yang betray Sifu and steal the talismans? And secondly, why are you not subscribed to this channel yet? Pressing that button is such a simple gesture and yet it goes a long way to support me and the content I create. You have power beyond your own understanding. And with great power comes big responsibility. But unfortunately, Yang crumbled under the weight of such power. Once upon a time, Yang had a wife and daughter. Though we don't know much about them, something we do know is that they were terminally ill. It is my assumption that right around the time Yang exhausted every single resource, in order to save them, he turned to Sifu, seeking a power he knew could change everything. But after being denied said power, he proceeded to leave the school. And as you might have guessed, Yang lost his wife and daughter. Despite his strength and abilities, he was unable to help those he loved the most. He was supposed to be the chosen one, the next Sifu. But upon losing everything, his descent into the dark side began. With his newly found darkness, he sided with Jin Fang and three other fighters to take down the Guardians once and for all. His family was forever lost but they could still put the power of the talismans to use. They could still prevent such misery to ever befall someone else. Then why did Yang give you a talisman? Why did he decide to give you the power 
to come back to life knowing that there might be a chance you will come to get your revenge. Well, I do not think Yang is a bad person. In fact, I do not think the alchemists were inherently bad people. They certainly did commit terrible crimes and took several lives, but their goal remained a relatable one. And one beautiful detail in the game is that Kuroki and Jingfang looked away. They looked away as Fajar slowly and mercilessly slashed your throat. They were killers. But even then, they still didn't condone such atrocity. Yang most likely felt the same way. After all, you were family too. Two sides of the same coin, Yang and Yin. You were but an innocent child born in a cruel world. Their vision was to be the helping hand, reaching out to help the weak, and yet, here they were, taking away the life of such a defenseless human being. Yang may have regretted your death and came back to lead the talisman in your keep. But he did not just bring you back to life. And quick side note here, he brought you back twice actually. The second time was after you spare him and receive a killing blow. You achieved Wooda but died in the process. Yang brought you back to life and from the very start he entrusted you with his will to be better, better than he ever was, better than he ever could be. He entrusted you with becoming Sifu.